this game is a uh, Hero Generations. It's a, a, a project I backed in Kickstarter. This is the alpha prototype. It's really just supposed to demonstrate all the gameplay. Um, it's a turn-based uh, role-playing type game. Uh, start off with a hidden map. I'm just going to use the uh, cursor keys to move over, over to there. And I'm going to use one of my, my thousand gold to build a barracks on that. That square. I can't move on to either of the water ones. So I'm going to go back to the town where I started. Um, out of the town there is a woman. Who requires five strength. So, the, uh, the sort of... The wrinkle with this game... is that, as you see, I, I've got 64 life left, 63 now, one with each turn. What I need to do is uh, mate successfully before successfully before I die, basically. Oh, milestone. Right, so now I'm old enough to be an adult, I get plus 10 to my strength. And I get to turn a card over. Ooh, extra strength. Right. So now, let's see. That enemy in there, you see at the bottom of the screen there, an enemy Keeve has three strength and I'm twelve, so it's worth going for it. It's really just a random number generator thing. Oh, victory! I've killed that whatever that nasty person was. I get some fame for returning that treasure from the, that I picked up over there. I get some gold, and now this this Jawa is in love with me. Which is nice, but it's a bit early yet. Now earlier on I uh, I planted a uh, a barracks. And now that ten years have passed, if I visit there I get an additional fire strength. So, what's this guy? 21. I don't know if I want to take him on. So we go this way. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything yet. A shop. I'm gonna go over here. And now that I've got a thousand, no, I've not got a thousand. If we go here, now I've got a thousand. She wants five hundred of it to be in love with me. A bit avaricious. I'm gonna go back over here and create another barracks. So I've played this game quite a bit. Uh, often the, the, what you do is, is basically try and build up strength as quickly as possible so that you can then bash in many monsters. Um, as, as I mentioned, the goal then is to uh, find a suitable mate, breed, and then you continue the game Have another uh, another relic. The items I've got in my hand are here. You can only carry two things at once. You return the relics to the sound, and you um oh I've hit midlife. Get more strength. I get to flip a card. And I get an extra year of life expectancy. I completed the quest. She loves me now because I've got enough gold. I'll show you the quests. So the map, the map has some quests on it. Um, one of the quests is kill the boss, who actually is fairly uh, far too strong for me at the minute. Build a monument, which costs 7,000 gold. Clear all the forests, which are uh, I've been to a couple of them, didn't really. Collect the ancient treasures, done both of them. Clear the lairs. So you see, yes, I'll highlight over the um, 
the quest. There's a big red cross indicating where I'm supposed to go for that. I'm just going to corner to get the, uh, the forest. And there's the, there's the uh, boss. So, I can probably now take the lair. But first... First, let me nip back. Yep. You've got no option but to go into the things which land in the squares. Go back here. Get my extra five strength. Pick up my tribute. Go back. Go back here. Go back here. Not going in the shop again. I'll fight whoever this guy is. Yes, I think I'll take him. Just. It's basically just a dice roll, as far as I can tell. You can as you go on um, a bit more strength. Now you see the boss has arrived at the lair, which is probably... I'm not going to take him. In in Rouge 70, I'd have to get quite lucky. Let's take this bloke on again. Yeah, yeah, that time is easier. Still, still don't want to get married yet, and clearly, the, uh, the sooner you get married, then you know you have less opportunities to gather, gather gold and resources and and all the other thing. Defeating him again, a bit more fame. You get more fame for defeating the bigger monsters, obviously. The strategy I've employed so far is basically to build barracks at every opportunity. what's in the chorus, more faint, and then I, you can loop back through the barracks and uh, build up your strength. The barracks usually survive as you uh, as you uh, procreate. Uh, I've defeated another one, there we go, 40 fame. There'll be something in the forest as well. Oh. There's a farm there, to give me a pile of gold. There's another town here. What does she want? She wants 500 gold as well. Build another barracks. Oh, now I'm getting older, so my strength will start to decline. Let's see what the card is, a bit of extra strength. Bit of extra gold. Get that strength. Get that strength. Let's go clear out this layer. Go attack. Gotcha. He's got a shield. You have a shield, it um it will deflect some of the damage. If you lose a battle, you basically you, you lose life expectancy. So I'm now down to eight eight years left. So I'll go here. There is There is a, um, a monster here with a rich gene. So we'll defeat you. Let's see. Get a lot of gold. She wants someone famous. What I'm going to do first is nip over there, build another barracks. Go back here, fight this monster. A bit more fame. Oh, very well. And now, since I'm down to five, I'll, I'll, 
I will pick Key Boss. My legacy, my new hero, gives it a new name. Right, so the way it works is, uh, we did see one of the monsters had a trait card. I've not managed to pick any up so far. Uh, but basically, you pick up the cards, they then appear in this, this deck here. You get some from you, some from your mate. And then, whatever. Oh, quite a lot of strength, this is promising. Whatever cards you get flip over, they're, they're what your offspring will inherit. Yes, my former hero is dead. Mum says there's a caravan, that's nice. Alright, yes, you can get items to repair buildings with, the buildings will, will disappear, but... Uh, get some gold going. There's already a woman in love with me. That's far too early. Build another barracks. Oh, I've not got enough money for another barracks. Never mind them. That sounds like a bit of a risk. Oh, I've got enough money now. Completed a quest for some fame. He wants a strong man. So this is more or less the game. You you wander around. A limited number of turns to basically become as famous and successful as possible. This monster, I think I can take him. Picking up items and occasionally um, uh, traits which will help your offspring become even better. And the goal obviously is to have the most heroic hero at some point. I'm an adult, so already up to 29 strength here. Looking promising, let's flip a card. Oh, extra 5 years, that might come in handy. Attack this person. He's gone. More fame. A broadsword. All right. So that that gives me an extra uh, zero to seven attack. That's again. It's a it's a random dice roll. A bit of extra strength. She want she a strong man still. Go to this monster layup. Right, so now when I attack him, I'll get two rolls. I'll get one for my own strength and one for the sword. Either way, I would have beaten him, I think. But there we go. Another monster defeated. Snipping in and pick up that gold. So, like it said, ooh, what's this? Ooh, I can't afford it though. Can't afford it. Let's attack this bloke. <laughs> oh dear. He was a smidge unlucky there. I'm building up the fame. She loves me. Build up the strength. She, ooh. she is a beauty. Might have to come back for her then. Yeah, we'll come back. Racking up the gold now. Let's attack this one. Gone. 
over here, a bit of extra frame. Now, can I take on this blue dude yet? It'll be risky, I feel. Oh, extra strength. Well, we're getting there then. It might be worth a go at this point. Oh, more strength. More gold. More gold, right. Uh, so we're about evenly matched at the minute. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got lucky. He's not dead yet, though. Uh, still don't want to bury it. Attack this dude. So I've got a pretty good chance of defeating the boss now, I think. I've had that lucky roll. I can collect some extra strength as I go around. The various... Um, I can buy one of these now. Emerald sword. Now I don't. Well, I've never had two swords before, so I don't know if they'll both apply. Where did the boss go? Let's see what happens having these two swords. Oh yeah, they both apply. I'm like dual wielding. Pretty cool. More strength. Be back for you in a bit. We'll have you again. So yeah, and we've already been playing this for 17 minutes. I don't know if you're bored yet. Oh, I'm not. I'm having quite a good time. Oh, there's that boss. Let's run over here. See if we can just get rid of him. So what, 21 years left on this bloke? So I don't want to marry you, but I might be back. Oh, it's starting to get old now. Thankfully I've stockpiled massive amounts of strength. And there's some more. Yep, I'll have you. Rather comfortably. More gold. We'll clear out the monster layer. They're all layers. I think I'll have you. Let's go. Got him. He's nearly dead now. He's got five life left. Attack you. Alright, eleven years. Should be plenty of time. Yeah. Oh, so that's a that's a trait. That would bonus. Bonus my offspring, potentially. Ha ha. Gone. I've killed boss in Rouge. Massively famous. Look at me. 
Right, yeah, so when you clear the quest, then you, you might look to... Um, uh, right, so we'll, we'll marry her, leave this world. Ooh, 600 gold. Strength, the life gene. The amount of strength. Loads of life, it's only more gold. I could do with more strength, really, but there we go. I've got some big swords. There you go, with the room. Mum's not heard anything. So yes, if you go in the portal here, I'll go to another world, it will be mysteriously similar to, to the world I've just left, and it's basically a square. There's a new boss, a new task. And, and the game goes on like this. It is quite fun. There's quite a lot of variety of monsters. The combat's a little simplistic, I'm sure. Oh, I can't pick up the item because I've got a sword already. I don't know what that is. That's some sort of bomb. Yeah, the combat's a little simplistic, to be sure. There's not really much strategy to it, other than... Don't go attacking things that you can't... <laughs> you're unlikely to... Um, you're unlikely to defeat. Um, ooh, defeated. Nasty. So I see I've some lost some life there. I'm going to have another go at him. No, I'm not going to get him, am I? So you can see, if you, if you keep attacking monsters that are much stronger than you, you'll basically die very quickly and won't have an opportunity to breed. Definitely not going to get him. But yes, the plans for the game include much improved graphics, um, obviously fixing the bugs, um, although it's not crashed yet. It, it does have a tendency to just uh, lock up uh, once once it runs out of memory. Uh, definitely a game worth checking out if you're uh, into your, your turn-based turn-based uh, roguelike type games, I think. Uh, a nice a nice twist with the whole sort of finding a mate and producing offspring and carrying on. Um, yeah, worth checking out.